Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to Fab Scraps Card Making Project number 30. Today, for the first time, we're going to be using the Family Blessings collection from Fab Scraps. This is the new collection. You've already seen the unboxing a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I've had a couple of weeks off, so it's nice to be back to make something so beautiful with this collection. Now you can get your hands on the fab boxes, all the details are on my blog so please check that out and it doesn't matter where you live in the world, they will ship to you. Again, all the details are on there. Everything I do use for the tutorial I shall put a list on my blog with and I shall put extra photos on there as well because I know you like seeing both the inside and outside of the cards. So without further ado, please sit back, relax and let's have a look at today's gorgeous fab scraps project. So for today's tutorial using the new Family Blessings collection from Fab Scraps, we're going to make a gorgeous card and we're going to start with our base card. And this is a 7x7 seven seven inch white card. All I'm going to do is take a bone folder and run it across the top where the crease is to make sure that that's nice and sharp so that when it stands up, it will stand up nicely on the mantelpiece. I've already used my handmade stamp just like I do for all the other tutorials. I've added my name and the fab scraps etc just for my reference. As always we're going to create the inside first and I know for so many of you this is your favourite bit. So I've taken one of the extra papers that comes and I'm saying papers they're actually cardstock it's just me, it's just how I'm referring to it. The double sided and I'm going for the lighter green option. I've got double sided tape on the back and I've cut this layer just slightly smaller than the 7x7 seven seven inch square for the base card. So it's going to create a nice layer for inside the card. So I'm just going to attach it through the centre of the card. Next, now on the front, I've actually cut some scalloped edges. I've used a scallop punch and this is my waist. I cut all the strips to one inch um, width and then the waist that I've had after I've used the scallop punch, I've simply kept the trims and I'm going to use those for the edge of the card. I've just got myself stuck up um, on everything so just bear with me. Uh, everything seems to be sticking to me today. So there we go. Okay so I've kept the trims and you can see it's the, the reverse of the scallop. I've got red tape on the back and I'm simply going to peel the tape away and then I'm going to add the scallop around the edge of the card that we've just added for the insert layer. So it's just going to take me a minute or two to add these and we can follow the edge around and then this is all the Family Blessings collection and this paper, sorry, cardstock, is um, an all over pattern. They're all reversed, they've all got two sides, but I'm using the all over rose pattern for this. And then we'll just add the last one. So you can see how you can use the waste of what you've cut, as I say, I used, I think I said a die, but I used a scallop punch to make the border. And that's the last of our strips. So that just gives it a gorgeous edge around the centre. Now, in the Family Blessings collection, there's a sheet that's got four of these designs on. In fact, there's two sheets of it. They are double sided. But I've cut out the circular with the roses around it and there's a large um, of one of the same design and then the sheet with four of the smaller ones on. We're going to use the same design on the front as well but for this I've fussy cut it around the edge, not too much 
because I know a lot of you don't like so much of the fussy cutting. So I've left quite a raw edge against it and just followed the edge of the pattern with my scissors instead of cutting right into it and cutting all of the background away. I've got double sided tape on the back of this so it's going to sit flat on the inside of our card and then you can use this panel to write in if you have a message there we go put that central now I'm also going to use one of the stickers that's included in the family blessings collection I've not opened mine yet so I want you to see it and how I put how I use it so they're all on transparent backgrounds we're going to use the one living together in harmony so I'm simply going to peel the sticker away from the carrier sheet and you can see that it's translucent so it's going to sit nicely in the center of our circle like that I can press it down and that's our insert complete it's like a card front it's that pretty so there's enough room for a very short message and your to and your from etc but how pretty is that for an insert so now we can turn our attention to the front and as always I will just use my bone folder again just to make sure that crease is nice and sharp still on the front now the first layer for the front of our card again is from the plain cardstock that's included in the actual collection and I want to point out before anybody writes to me I have got a mark on mine it's of my own doing so don't panic um, you won't see that when it's done so if at home like me sometimes uh, <laughs> events happen and you get a mark on your cardstock don't throw it away use it but use it as a layer and cover it up now you'll also see this extra piece of tape in the center I'll show you what that's for we'll take the back of the tape away from the back of the cardstock and I'm using the lighter of the pink color and again this is from the extra card stock that's included in the collection I'm going to pop it on central to our card and then this piece here was actually to stop me sticking to the tape on the back so it's just an extra piece of tape that I've left the back on and that will come in handy later now I've cut out four scalloped edges I've added pearl dots in the middle and those were you know you can get the little pearls four millimeters and I've just stuck those on in the middle and there's just three of them now also there's flat tape on the edges but there's 3d foam in the center underneath the pearls because we're going to add the edges and they are going to stand proud in the center but flat in the corner so it gives it a little bit of um, height and dimension on the edge and then I'm going to do exactly the same on all four edges as I turn the card and add the border strips now I think this card there's a lot of paper cutting and die cutting etc for this and I think it's a good one for anybody who likes layered techniques and lots of dimension so this is the last one and I'm just going to add that over the edge like that so we've got all four sides covered now next I've die cut four corners and I've used a Marianne collectible die for the corners you don't have to you can use whatever die you like I'm just using what I've got in my stash and I've added some more of the pearls just to the edges of the corners I've got 3d foam on the back of these because if you remember there's flat tape in the corners and I'm just going to take each of the corners and press them down over the joins 
as well of the scallop edges that we've just added. So I'll just add the last two. I've used the green extra cardstock that comes in the Family Blessings collection and I've embossed it as well to get the extra detail on the corners. So you can just see how pretty that looks around the edge. Now for the centre we're using the same circle as we used for the insert. For what I've done for this, instead of cutting to the line, I've put a circle die on top of it, I've drawn a pencil line and I've just taken the outer edge away with scissors and then nearly fussy cut around the flowers but I haven't been that fussy with my cutting, I've just you know followed the pattern and it just looks so pretty. It's on 3D foam and it's going to go over this gap that you can see in the middle. So I've been frugal with my paper as well because I've scallop cut and um, die cut an oval out of the centre of the paper. So I'm going to cover this over but this oval we're going to use in one of our next layers. So this can go in the centre of our card like so and press it down. Next this is the little bit that um, I'm quite nervous about adding this because I want to make sure I add it right. I've made a paper chain from the collection and then I've added an extra little oval and I've used the key embellishment from the embellishment pack that you get with the Family Blessings because let's not forget Fab Scraps now have just changed slightly what you get in the collections and you get these gorgeous silver embellishments well the metal but the silver colour and I want to add my key onto my card so it hangs down. I don't want it to hang off the edge of the card, but I do want to have a little bit of movement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some silicone glue. And I know for my friends across the pond, when I mention silicone glue and they think, oh, what is it? Where can I get it? As far as I know, there's places like Michael's and Joanne's that carry this. It's a thick um, glue that will give you a decoupage effect and layered effect, but it's really thick. Um, it's silicone, so it smells slightly. It's not the same as silicone that you would buy in a DIY store. Um, that smells even worse. But this is made for your paper and modelling projects. So as I say, it's quite thick when it comes out, but it's great for adding depth to projects. So I'm going to add two dots of silicone glue to my card, and then I'm going to position the paper chain through the silicone to hold it in place. So I want some movement, but I also need the silicone to hold the paper chain like that. There we go. Now that layer is as thick as the paper chain now. So the next layer that we add needs to have a little bit of depth to it. So you can see I've added four um, of the 3D foam dots and I'm going to position it over the top of our paper chain and that will cover the edges. So the paper chain will hang down underneath and give us a little bit of movement and then for the top of our oval I've cut out one of the embellishment sayings, Open Happiness. I've got 3D foam on the back of that and I can add that to the top of our previous layer. And then I've just got an extra rose embellishment that I've cut out from the embellishment decoupage sheet that's included in the collection. And I'm just going to add this to the side 
of our oval like so there we go and that is our card finished and it is so pretty that will hang when it's dry I don't want to tempt fate and uh, but you'll see from the photos how it looks when it's dry and how the chain shows up perfectly and it's such a pretty card I'm going to just open it once to show you while the glue's still wet the inside and how it matches and there'll be photos on my blog so check that out you can see the gorgeous layers and it's just so pretty it will stand up but I don't want to tempt fate for that either so check my blog for you know details of the collection and lots and lots of photos of the project both inside and out and to act as a reminder and I do hope you've enjoyed watching and I'd like to say thank you for watching and I shall see you next time